Yo, what's up everybody? Shoot the Rock here, back on the Bandwagon Sports YouTube channel. And I'm here today with a bit different video for the first time on the channel. I'm going to be doing some college basketball talk here with uh, football ending soon. I want to switch it up and get some more sports out there. So similar to how I kind of did with the college football rankings, I'm on Tuesdays here. My plan is to kind of go through and break down some of the biggest games in college basketball at night as well as what's happened uh, here the week before. I'm going to call the show Layup Lines, kind of because, you know, it's before games, letting you guys know what's going down, what lines to bet on, what I'm riding with. But first, before we get into Tuesday's games, let's just go through Monday real quick. Only two games on a Monday. Uh, first one, Duke knocks off Virginia Tech 77 to 67, uh, going 53% from beyond the arc was a big factor in that game. Jeremy Roach off the bench with 16 points, including four threes. And then Tyrese Proctor added 12 points with two threes of his own. Kyle Filipowski led the way scoring-wise with 14 points and then eight rebounds. And then the other one, the game of the night, big win for Houston on the road in overtime over Texas, winning 76-72. Jamal Shedd with 25 points leading the Cougars to the victory. Max Aismas with a solid 20 points for the Longhorns. And what really was the big difference this game, uh, Houston out-rebounded Texas 47-36, to including 15-8 to on the offensive end. But now let's move on to Tuesday. I'm going to start here first with what are the games of the night, what I'm going to be watching, and what I think you guys should be watching as well. The first one, number nine, the Marquette Golden Eagles head to Philadelphia, heading on the road, taking on Villanova. Villanova is a minus one and a half point favorite, which to be honest, I don't really understand. Villanova has lost four straight games, only 11 and nine on the year. Marquette, I think, is a really solid squat, including four straight wins, one of which was a 87 to 74 win over Villanova a couple, a couple weeks ago. Uh, such a solid team with Tyler Kolick and Osa Iguodaro. Usually my rule of thumb is when a home team is favored over a ranked team, I like to ride that side. But just in this one, like I said, it just does not make a lot of sense to me what I've seen from Villanova this year. I do not think they're the same caliber team as Marquette. So I'm going to be back in the Golden Eagles in that one. And then the other game of the night, the one ranked on ranked matchup we have, and it's a good one here in the Big 12. Number 15, Texas Tech heads to Fort Worth, taking on 25 the 25th ranked TCU Horn Frogs. Uh, TCU opens at four and a half point favorites. Both teams with some big wins this weekend. TCU taking down Baylor on the road in overtime, uh, triple overtime that is, 105 to 102. And then uh, Texas Tech went into Norman, beat the Sooners 40 or 85 to 84. Sorry, I got my numbers mixed up there. Texas Tech is also the leader in the conference currently at five and one in the Big 12. And I think this is going to be a really good match, but I could definitely see it going either way. Uh, I know a lot of the money from what I was looking at was on TCU at minus 4.5. But I don't really know if I'm going to play a side in this one. These are two pretty high-scoring teams, both averaging high 70s, low 80 points a game. So I kind of like the over-under total at 149 going with the over there. Then another Big 12 game that I'm going to brand as my ESPN Plus game of the night, if you're an ESPN Plus subscriber like myself. A little bit of free ad here. I think it's really worth it. I watch games on there almost nightly, whether that's college basketball or NHL. The ESPN Plus game of the night is the 23rd ranked Oklahoma Sooners, who I just mentioned lost this past weekend. They head to Kansas State, uh, who is two and a half point favorites currently. Uh, like I said, Oklahoma, two losses at home last week. They're now three and four in the conference. That was a team that I was really a pretty high believer in early in the season, was making making some money betting on them. But on this side, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with uh, the Wildcats, Kansas State. They're three and zero at home in the conference this year, and I mean, just it's so hard to win on the road in the Big Twelve. So there are two teams that are kind of slumping, but I I like some home cooking when you're when you're not playing well. It's usually home cooking, home court that can help kind of turn the tides for you. So I'm gonna go with Jerome Tang and the Kansas State Wildcats here. Uh the mid major game of the night, in my opinion. On nine, uh, 9 Eastern, 8 Central on CBS Sports Network. Uh, last year's national runner-up, San Diego State Aztecs, head to Colorado State, who is ranked 24th in the country. Colorado State is a 2.5-point favorite. Uh, they lost two games at home, though, or two games on the road last week, slumping a little bit here with losses to Nevada and Wyoming. However, they are 3-0 and at home on the conference. Uh, in conference play, San Diego State, on the other hand, is two straight losses on the road. And, I mean... It's just so hard to win at Colorado State this year. They've beaten teams like Washington, Colorado, and the most notably eighth-ranked Creighton. And just what I've seen from San Diego State, they're playing better of late. Uh, they lost that game on the road to Boise State. I was watching the end of that one last Saturday. 
uh, or not last Saturday, the previous Saturday, and I just didn't really like what I, or like they came back, but I mean, it's just team, they get down, and if they can't, they can't come back, and Colorado State's kind of one of those teams, when you're down on them, it's going to be hard to come back, so I'm going to go with the Rams on that side. Now, moving on, the two upset alert games I have of the night here. The first one, 7 Eastern on ESPN. The third-ranked North Carolina Tar Heels are currently 9.5-point favorites going on the road to Georgia Tech. North Carolina's rolling currently. They've won 10 straight games, playing really well in conference. There are only two losses this year coming to Kentucky and to UConn, uh, and those were like pretty much back-to-back games. But... When you're rolling, you know, you're kind of you're kind of bound for a slip-up, especially this could be a look-ahead game for the Tar Heels as they ha- host Duke on Saturday. I mean, that's going to be the game of the season in the ACC, especially to this point. Uh, and Georgia Tech, they've already beat Duke at home this year, um, and they, they haven't lost by double digits at home in any of these games. So I don't know if I'd pick them to win up outright. I definitely would take Georgia Tech plus the points here, maybe sprinkle a little bit on them to win. This is a game, man. Like I said, I kind of personally thought I'm a Duke fan. I thought Duke was going to lose tonight. Like I said, big game Saturday. It's easy to look ahead, but Duke got, took care of business. We'll see if Carolina's is fortunate enough. And then the other game that I am thinking of an upset could happen at 7 Eastern on Peacock, the 14th ranked Illinois fighting Illini head to Columbus to take on the Buckeyes. Illinois is two and a half point favorites currently. But like I said, it's in my upset alert. I think I'd be back in the Buckeyes on this one. Illinois is 1-2 on the road this season in conference, while Ohio State is 4-1 and one at home, currently plus 120 on the money line. While Ohio State really did not have a great week last week, got blown out by Northwestern. Really two big wins for Northwestern last week, winning at home against Illinois and blowing out the Buckeyes. Um, I think they can kind of turn the tides. Like I said, they've been a really solid team at home. Their only loss at home so far this year has been to Wisconsin, who while Illinois is good, I just think Wisconsin is another level. And, I mean, it's a rivalry game, battle for the Illibuck. So, I could I could see the Buckeyes coming out hot here and, and taking the win in this one. And then just a couple other games that I'm going to be watching to wrap it up here. Uh, at 5.30 Central, 6.30 Eastern on the SEC Network, South Carolina heads to Knoxville, take on the fifth-ranked Volunteers, Tennessee's minus 14.5. Um, South Carolina's gotten blown out on a couple road games this year. I mean, that's a high high number, so I, I might just like stay away from this one. I might just watch it because, I mean, honestly, Dalton Connect has been one of the most fun players to watch in the country, especially as of late. Um, but, I mean, I guess if I'm going to take a side, I would probably take Tennessee. But, I don't know, again, that's kind of one of those where when the point's like that high, it's it's almost just there's just not a whole lot of value there in my opinion. Another ranked matchup, this one, high points, but I'm definitely taking it because I got burned a couple weeks ago when they played in Stillwater at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on ESPN. The Oklahoma State Cowboys head to Kansas, Kansas' eighth-ranked team in the country, currently 16-point favorites. And I know a couple weeks ago when they were in Stillwater, I took Oklahoma State plus 7.5. Well, that did not pay out well for me at all as Kansas blew them out of the water. Yeah, Kansas won that game 90-66, to and that was on the road, so now coming home. Uh, Kansas, like I said, tough loss last last uh, this past weekend at Iowa State. It's really hard to win there, but, I mean, now they're, like I said, home cooking. Home cooking cures everything, so I'm going to go with the Jayhawks in that one. And the final one, another rivalry game on the, P, on, on the cock, Peacock, 9 Eastern. Uh, Michigan at Michigan State. Both these teams pretty disappointing this year, but I think the Wolverines are even more disappointing. I don't think they're a good team. Uh, the Spartans are minus 11.5 point favorites. I mean, I would probably, if I'm going to watch this one, if I'm going to play this one, I'm probably going to play the Spartans in this side just because I don't really think Michigan's that good. And again, just hard to win on the road. Hard to win on the road in conference play, hard to cover on the road. So, but yeah, those are the games I'm going to be watching this Tuesday. Uh, let me guy let me know what your guys' picks are, what games you guys are gonna be watch, and what other kind of content. Like I said, I'm trying to switch it up here, do some different sports, do some college basketball, maybe some NHL this week, probably some NBA. Just since football is ending, want to diversify it for all you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.